Welcome to another rebuild, something slightly different. Um, we are going to Israel, to the Israeli Premier Division, and we're going to be trying to help better Jerusalem back to the top where the last won it some time ago. Enjoying the greatest era in the 1990s, Beta have a history that can be they can be proud of, boasting a total of 21 competition wins. They have won the top division six times, the last time I think being in 2008, it is, 2007, 2008, they won it twice on the bounce back then, so it's been some time since they've won it then, finishing runners-up six times, having won the State Cup seven times, and finished at second best to further four, winning the Israeli second tier in 58 and 92, and, and, and finishing runners up in the Toto Cup as well. For my sins, I don't know much about them, but I do know uh, from a request from the last video, I think it was, they want us to try and rebuild this team back to the top instead of languishing in the bottom half. This is their favourite formation, not a formation I'm a fan of, but they have got somebody called Fred. Not the Manchester United Fred, surely, no. Fred Fridays, Asprilla, they got Shua, they got Adi, Madamon, Gretchen, Morozov, Dahan, Dejani, Borodin and Miguel Silva. I do apologise if I've butchered any of those names. They have got a lot of players on loan and quite a few players out on loan as well. The chairperson, he would like us to sign players under the age of 23 for the first team, which is good because that, that's the sort of thing I like to do anyway. Work within the budget and grow the club's reputation, which is probably a gimme. Current season, record a Premier League top half finish. Reach the latter stages of the State Cup. And I uh, think going forward, they want us to qualify, I think, at the end of the third season, maybe second, third season, and continue qualifying for the Europa Conference League. The supporters would like us to play attacking and entertaining football and again qualify for Europe and finish above Hapoel Tel Aviv, Ney Sakinin and Hapoel Jerusalem as well. So looking at the league history... So they did win it in seven, uh, six, seven, seven, eight, and then they kind of floundered a lot, and then just kind of gone off the rails a little bit, all the way down in eleventh position. Still in the uh, top division, though. To be fair, uh, languishing around a bit mid table. They did get back up to third in uh, fifteen, sixteen to seventeen, eighteen. Dropped to seventh, back to third, and then last couple of seasons finishing hot, uh, in 10th position. So they pretty much have been in the top 10, really, to be fair. Not really going outside the top 10. I'm not quite sure how many teams are in the division, actually, to be honest. Uh, 14. Okay, so that doesn't uh, bode very well at all, does it? So they have been finishing around about the 10th position mark for quite a while if they finish in the bottom half. If not, they've been normally around about the uh, top three. So it's been pretty... Uh, Hit and miss each season. So it's looking at their squad then. They seem to have a very big squad. And um, yeah, I'm not too hot on the players that have got here. Danila Espirito, the Colombian, 33-year-old. Arguably their best player on £3,000 a week. Yarden Shua, is he Israeli? I think he is. Let's have a look, see if how good he is. He looks uh, okay, actually. Almost a five-star player. Runs out next season. 22 years old as well. Want to try and keep hold of him. Sergei Borodin. I think he's out on loan, the Russian. Fred Friday, Nigerian. Striker, 27 years old. I mean, looks pretty decent, though, to be fair. Trazzy Thomas um, from Ivory Coast. Again, another decent player in the midfield. Then you've got some uh, high-talented players. There's Bar Cohen. He's out on loan currently. 2024 runs out. Definitely a player that we could possibly use. A winger or a cam, possibly. There's another one with a high potential as well. Eli Madmon, 19 years old. Very high potential. Looks pretty decent again. A DM. This is more looking at a 4-3-3 um, three, three narrow formation, I think, from what I can gather. Whether or not it will work is another matter. There's another one. Adi Yoni, 18 years old, very high potential again. Although it doesn't uh, look that way. 18 years old, though. Midfield. 
yeah, a lot of work needs doing with some of these youngsters. Let's have a look at their other teams. And so they have got an under-19s team. And uh, from what I can see, they've already got this chap here, Yang Yusupov, right winger. Okay. Hmm. Let's have a look at their staff. This seems to be uh, overrated, some of these players, I feel. And they have got full complementary, although below average, especially for the recruitment team. And not so great on the uh, staffing as well. So that's something we will have to remedy as well. Finances, not an awful lot of money, though. Again, there'll be no uh, transfer in the first window. No debts whatsoever. So that's a good sign as well. So we'll see how much debt we can get them into then, shall we? But uh, we'll try and not do that. But we do have a few contracts to sort out first before we get cracking on. This is the formation that we are hoping to go with this season. A 4-2-4. We were originally going to go with a 4-4-2. But we realised that uh, we got two really good wingers. So I really want to try and utilise them as well. And uh, so we're going to start off with Nicolescu up top. Our striker, Shua on the left hand side. Thomas in the midfield and Borodin at the back. They are the, uh, the favourite players that I'd like to keep at the club and they're not realizing when we start to look at the players every single player had a uh, contract expiry of next season and that means the whole of everybody in that squad so we tried to do a few deals a lot of them haven't signed they want more from the club it's going to be a nightmare it's going to be really really telling how uh, we are going to be next season and what players we have got especially with a couple of loanies that we have got in whether they're going to stick around but saying that it's gone a little bit of hit and miss in the um, friendlies in this premier league toto cup as well which i think we are doing pretty well in actually and the league hasn't gone as well as i had hoped Although we did lose to one of our rivals, Hopwell, Jerusalem, which the fans are not going to be particularly happy about. We lost to Maccabi Tel Aviv, Hopwell, her high fur as well. But we did win our last game 2-0. So this Toto Cup then, how well are we actually doing? So we did finish second. I don't think we qualified then. So it looks like one team qualifies, possibly. That's going to be disappointing. What's this? Classification group playoff one. Does that mean we're into the next round? I don't understand. We may or may not have done. We have been knocked out of this cup competition then. I don't get it then. So how did we qualify for the group one? Whatever it is. I don't get it. I don't know. <laughs> it, we're not in that competition anyway. It, by looks of things. We don't enter the state one until uh, the eighth round. But uh, we are lying in 10th position currently. That's because of them two losses. I'm hoping that's going to improve some. We want to finish at least mid-table and above. We don't want to finish in 10th position. That's uh, that's where we don't want to finish. Although our form looks pretty good though. Three wins in the last five. So I'm not going to complain too much just yet. The season preview, however, has us in 6th position. I think at the start we were a bit lower than that. But 6th position with the players that we've got. Maybe the formation. Maybe we should do a 4-4-2. But our uh, fans want us to play more attacking football. So that's what we're going to try and do anyway. So fingers crossed we can get past this first um, season unharmed. And where we need to be, we need to get into that top 10. And hopefully um, sixth position where we we're predicted to. Well, the first season has not gone to plan using the 4-2-4 formation in the end. Maybe we may have to switch it up once again. Though we did have a strong finish to the end of the season with three wins and two draws in the last five games. Probably helping us uh, escape relegation, which we only do that by five points. Very disappointing. I'm not going to lie. With the players that we had, I felt that we had enough at least to finish in the, uh, well... Above 10th at least anyway. Although Fred Friday, he does score 15 goals. And uh, Nicolescu as well, 14. So they did pretty well in the race for the uh, golden boot. So our league form, wow, um, straight away. Apart from the two wins in September, we don't win up until the end of January. That's poor with a lot of heavy defeats. A 6-0, a couple of fours. Oh my word, it's, uh, yeah, 
that formation is not going to work one jot. Maybe we scrap wingers or do we do 4-4-2 I think next. I think that might be the way to go. As you can see as we enter the relegation group we win our games or well, we don't lose at least anyway. So that's a good sign that we can beat teams below us. The State Cup, we did get to the semi-final. We win 1-0, uh, 1-0, one -nil, one -nil, and then Nazareth, we beat 3-1 in the quarterfinal first leg, losing 3-2 in the second leg, but still going through 5-4, only just though. And then this Intertoto Cup competition, I still don't get it. <laughs> we win on penalties in the last one. Why did we not go through group playoff one? I don't get it. Let's have a look at the quick rulings on this because I just do not know. We did win that. So why did we not playoff two, playoff three, playoff four? So we did win our playoff. So where's the semi-final? August. So why did we not quite... We won that game, didn't we? I'm sure we did. If anybody could shed some light on there, please let me know down in the comments. Because uh, I, I don't get it. Okay, squad performance. Well, surprisingly, our two strikers, 20 goals plus each. Nobody else really helped out. I think that is the real issue. There's only five players that scored goals. That is poor. And as you can see, our squad has been diminished somewhat. With a lot of uh, contracts ending. Some of them are still here, searching for another contract, so we'll have to look at that. But yeah, no be times ahead. We've still got these contracts to go with that run out next season. Contracts that run out, have run out. <laughs> it's a mess. It really is. I mean, I've never known a um, club to have all contracts running out at the same time. We have been given £272,000, 100% of the revenue as well. We're going to have to look at some freebies if we can pick some of them up. We have got £3 million in the bank though, so that is quite nice also. And we've got a little bit of wiggle room in the wages budget as well. It's going to be an interesting window, that's for sure. Right, a busy but very torrid time in the transfer market. We only managed to sign three players. We have managed to get six or five actually I cannot count uh, Julian Sereno the free transfer back up really in fact he's our first choice uh, left back I thought he looked pretty good he did have quite a good um, potential ability as well which seems pretty decent if you can get up to three star I'll be quite happy we're just really struggling at the back four, really, to be fair. Next up is Amit Glazer, a centre-back. We, I wanted to shore up the back four, and uh, he comes in as a 23-year-old, actually, with great potential as well. In fact, he doesn't show that much, but he looks pretty decent. Everything seems uh, where it should be. Next up is Ihab Abu Ashek. Probably butcher that name, so I do apologise. Left-sided midfielder, some decent potential on him as well. The reason why we brought him in. I think he's going to be given a chance at left wing. Simeone Moratore. Not as good as I thought it was going to be actually to be honest. I wanted him really as a centre back. But it's not going to be quite worked out that, that way. I don't think we've actually registered him for the um, for the season. Because we, we brought in seven foreign players. We're only allowed six. So unfortunately he's going to take a back seat this, this season. At 25 years old. Seems a shame because stats look okay. And finally, Andrea Cabari. Another Italian. Another centre-back, actually. We concentrated on the back because we uh, conceded quite a lot of goals last season. And uh, I don't want that to happen this season. The only one out the door, really, is Esprilla. He went to Atletico Nacional for free. We released a few other players as well. Mainly because they just weren't good enough. We are going to be using a 4-4-2 formation one that i've used in the previous rebuild and so far it seems to be working the wide playmakers seem to be uh the way to go i feel on um fm not so much as a winger or inside forward we're still gonna have a two strikers up front as you can see 18 goals between them i mean we cannot separate them if we can manage to hang on and hang on to them then it's uh brilliant we, we have managed to sort their contracts out as well all the players surprisingly we've got one player to 2027 that's Kabari the 29 year old and as you can see we try to tie some of the better players in as well pre-season may I add that changing to a 4-4-2 has helped us incredibly well have a few friendlies in between the Toto group games we beat Hopel Jerusalem which the fans are superbly happy about Ney Yahuda 4-0 Bakabi Patach Tikiva 3 1. 
Ashdod 3-1 as well. The semi-final, we played Maccabi Tel Aviv. We beat them 3-2, unbelievably. We're into the final, where we play Kiryat Shimona. Not sure whereabouts they are, but I'm hoping it's uh, probably a team that hopefully we can be. In fact, they're actually in the Premier League as well, So because we play them straight afterwards in the league. But our league games, we've just had a couple... Hoppe are Jerusalem, we beat 3-1 after beating them in the uh, Toto Cup 4-0. So that's a good victory. Away from home as well this time round. Um, Hoppe are Tel Aviv. I mean, we probably got battered by them last season. We seem to be a little bit stronger this season. We are lying top of the table, would you believe? Two out of two. So, fingers crossed, it stays like it. And for the season, again, 150-1, to one, sixth position. So let's hopefully we can stay at the top, win the Toto Cup, get far in the other cup as well. Who knows, it could be a very good season and at the same time manage to hang on to some of our players as well. Season 2 seems to have uh, fared us a bit better. We're into the UEFA Champions Conference League. We've made it. We've made it into Europe as well. Fantastic. Fifth place finish, 57 points. That is fantastic, considering it's like 20 points more than last season. If we just have a quick look, we finished 11th with 33. We finished now 5th with 57. That is a massive improvement. Maybe the 4-4-2 is the way to go. And you see both our strikers getting the accolades they uh, rightly deserve. Play of the match awards, leading goal scorers, best players in the league. They look really, really good. And I think we can only improve. So looking at our league form, while well, we have a fantastic run in right up until the uh, end of January, in fact. And then, wow, we take a massive dip in there with a couple of big losses as well. A 6-1 loss there, a couple of fives there. It's not good reading. We do finish a little bit strongly towards the end. But uh, a 6-1 win over Hopov Haifa there. I mean, we had some good results ourselves, though. But that's... Um, it's that dip there that is quite the worry, which suggests either we've lost some players or we may have took a couple of injuries. We do, however, get to the final of the State Cup. And as you can see there, we beat Maccabi Haifa 3-2 after extra time. Twice we go ahead, twice we get pegged back. As you see the first goal going in and then we get pegged back in the 38th, 39th minute Maccabi Haifa doing what they do best. I mean, that's a very good save, but uh, the rebound was uh, was fortunate for them, but not for ourselves. But a first trophy in this rebuild, a victory in the State Cup is what really we wanted as well. I mean, it's a big cup. It's like the FA Cup, but that is fantastic. We go ahead through the uh, ne Nekulescu there as well. There's a touch of an offside, possibly not to be. But that was in the 91st minute, but the 92nd minute, they equalise to take the game into extra time. Where I mean, it's a poor, poor uh, goalkeeping there by Silva, to be fair. But uh, they make it into extra time, but we do win it in the 105th minute. Great play by Doga as he cuts inside. And it's uh, Cohen with a side foot into the corner. Great goal. And along the way, we do beat... Uh, Jaffa 2-0, Oshdod 3-0. Then over the two legs in the quarterfinal, we win that 5-3. We win on penalties in the semi-final. I mean, it has been tough going right through to the final and winning it, though. So very, very close games from the quarterfinal stage onwards. We also get to the final of the Toto Cup as well, winning that 1-0 with a fantastic goal by Fred Friday, who plays a 1-2 off the crossbar and heads in the winner. Fantastic stuff. Another trophy in the bag. That's two domestic cups. I mean, that we can't have asked for much more than that. And finishing fifth in the table as well. Semi-final is a little bit tougher against Maccabi Tel Aviv, but a 1-0 victory in the final. Trophy number two. Squad-wise, we did uh, have our two go top goal scorers, 28 and 25, with Nicolescu and Friday. However, both of them it did take injuries Nicolescu's out for six weeks. He's had broken ribs, so he's had a little bit longer than that. So possibly when we start to take in that dip of losses and Fred Friday as well, he's got up to seven weeks. So he's probably been out longer as well. So we, they only played 30 to 20 and 25 games each. So that's where we struggled. Without them, we were, we were poor other than that. 
So going into next season, we have been given, is that £1 million? And our wage budget, we're still over, which probably means we either have to sell or move some of that transfer budget into the wages and see if we can get some more free players in. I think that is the way to go in order to build this club up. However, we're in Europe for next season, boys and girls. I'm really looking forward to that. So let's uh, have a look, see what we can do in the transfer market. A million pounds, quite a lot of money. First of a few signs, Jacobo Lepini or Lepani, Italian. He's coming in for the midfield. A young 23-year-old and we've got him for a good few years yet and uh, got some great potential in him. A bargain player, if ever I saw one, Cristo Romero, Spaniard, 24-year-old, left-sided midfield. Stats look really nice as well. We spent some money for Sharif Kayoff, £22,500 as a backup goalkeeper for Maccabi Haifa. And for £160,000, Ori Dahan, again from Maccabi Haifa, a centre-back. I think we've got a pretty good bargain here. And at 24 years old, he's going to be with us for a while yet. And from Kiryat Shmona, £650,000 for a left-back. Wow, we did go all out on this one. He's got some good potential in him. His stats look really nice as well. So we spend £825,000, which is a pretty hefty sum what we did have. But as you can see, we do sell out £1.3 million worth. Ritore goes to uh, Fioranzuolo uh, for £21,000. Fred Friday, we he handed in a transfer request. Espanyol picked up the bill, £1.1 million. So that helped us quite a bit. And uh, Gregory Murrows off the right back. He goes to Maribor for £180,000. Tactically, we're going to stick with the 4-4-2. This time, instead of wide playmakers, we're going to go as wingers. Romero, Lipani in the midfield. Morgan and Dahan at the back. Our new signings and it's gone pretty well that includes the europa conference league qualifying rounds we do win the super cup however against maccabi netanya who i think won the league last season we win that on penalties so really happy with that so trophy number one off the bat already the europa conference league path qualifying we played uh Goupy. 4-1 in the first leg, 2-0 in the second, so 6-1 overall. Then we play FC20, we beat them 3-1 over the two legs. And then we played Payok and we beat them 5-3 over the two legs, which lands us in the conference leagues now. So, and we get to play uh, Rijeka, Radniki, Bromby, Lask, Shamrock Rovers and Fenerbahce. We did lose our first game in the league, 3-1. But we did pick ourselves up and won our second game 2-1. And we're into the final of the uh, Toto Cup after beating Maccabi Haifa 1-0. Season preview, however, has our odds slashed to 33-1 to now to finish fifth. That's fantastic. And Shua is in the Dream 11, which is even better. So it's nice to have a player in there somewhere. So let's go ahead and simulate our third season and see if we can come up trumps once again. <laughs> We still yet improve on our position. We're in fourth place. Amazing. We've climbed another spot and we've gained a few more points from last season as well. 60 points this season and only 12 losses this time round. It seems to be getting a little bit difficult when you play uh, in the championship half in the top six because they're... they're um, you are playing against the better teams in the league. But we finished fourth. That is incredible. Our league form, we again, we have a good run where we uh, remain unbeaten for a few uh, months. Then we lose 1-0 and 2-0 to some of the better teams. But a 5-3 victory over Ashdod there. We lose 2-0 to Maccabi Haifa. Then we have another little bit of a lull in the second half of the season, especially the last bit, the last 10 games. We're playing against the top sides, but we do get some important victories in there, which uh, keep us on target for a top four finish. The State Cup, however, we do bow out at the quarterfinal stage, despite winning our second leg to 2 2 on aggregate, but we do lose out on penalties to Herpoel uh, Tel Aviv. But the Toto Cup final, we do win, and we win it on penalties against Maccabi Tel Aviv. After beating Maccabi Haifa. So two very difficult teams. The reason being not playing that many games in it. Is because we were in Europe. However in the Europa Conference League. We do get knocked out in the knockout playoff round. After navigating through 
the qualifiers and the league phase after winning three on the bounce the first three games against Retka, Redniki and Bromby but we do lose to Lask, draw with Shamrock and lose to Fenerbahce which does leave us in 15th position. Newcastle, 6 for 6. Wonder if they won it. And Newcastle do win it. They beat Sevilla 1-0 in the final. Our players though, the youngster Yusupov, 34 goals in 50 league games is absolutely fantastic. 24 for Nicolescu as well. And 10 for Shua. He's moaning that he wants to leave the club. But he scored 10 goals. The third player to score double figures, which is absolutely phenomenal as well, which which I'm absolutely over the moon with. Still a lot of, lot of other players are scoring goals. So assist-wise, three players get in double figures. Romero in his first season, 14 assists. Shua, 14 assists. Nicolesco with 10 as well, actually. And Yusupov, the 19-year-old from the youth team, eight assists. Brilliant. And a few more players getting in on the act. But our goalkeeping situation, it has been spaced out a little bit with the youngster, Kaoff, who we did bring in. 22 goals conceded in 17, which isn't too bad. Uh, Deloya as well, 2 in 3 and 19 in 21 from Silver. Not bad going at all. So heading into the next season, we've got three and a half million pounds and our wage budget has uh, shifted incredibly by about 40,000. Brilliant. And we've got 14 mil in the bank as well. That is phenomenal. Right, let's go and do some shopping. So we managed to spend some money and some of that money has gone towards some of these young players. 18-year-old Tamir Lieb for £100,000 from Ramat Hasharan, I think is how you pronounce it. But for a midfielder, he looks really good and uh, quite special, I feel. £800,000, the price keeps going up from Ashdad, I think. Uh, Shalev Harush, another midfielder. He can play cam, he can play up front as well. Quite all rounded in the attacking phase, and uh, stats wise, he looks pretty decent. From Maccabi Haifa for another £800,000 is 21 year old Eli Fengold, another Israeli. We're going to try and keep it uh, local if we can, or in the same country, the same nationality players because of the foreign rule in, uh, I think we're only allowed up to six and I keep um, applying for players that are uh, a foreign. I shouldn't really do that, should get some natural uh, homegrown players in. Right back, plenty of potential and I think he's going to be our first team starter. Another one from Ashdod for 1.3 million pounds. Yes, you heard me, over a million pounds for this youngster. 19 year old, Mayo Yazilermak. I apologise for butchering that. I'm sure you'll correct me down in the comments below. But um, another fantastic little player. I think he's already gone up a half a star already. I think he was on two star. But his uh, potential seems very high. And at the back for 19 years old. I think we've got two youngsters at the back now. Which uh, is very, very promising. So overall we spend £3 million. We do let Kabari out the door out on loan. Just to let some of the youngsters come through the ranks but we struggled to get rid of a lot of players i don't know whether they're on they're on too much money which doesn't seem like they are but nobody wants them so we're just gonna have to let their contracts run out and hopefully uh, they'll go quietly pre-season has gone the way i would have hoped and uh, just that one defeat in the Toto Cup semi-final. We're not going to retain the trophy, unfortunately. Losing to Maccabi Tel Aviv 1-0. To a 10th minute winner. And Thomas gets himself sent off just before the hour. So it didn't really help. But apart from that, we smashed everybody else. We're in Europe once again. So we started off against Luzern with a 4-4 draw. Then beating them 3-2 away. Then we played Antwerp, which we beat them 6-4 over the two legs. SV Reed, we beat them 5-2 over the two legs as well with a 4-2 victory at home. And now we get to play uh, Botev, Plodiv, Flora, VTSC, Shamrock Rovers, Nor Coping and Rapid Vienna. We have won 2-2 two for two so far, so we are lying in third position, quite comfortable behind Tel Aviv and Ashdad. Season preview has our odds cut to 25-1 to one this time from 33 last season. Still in fifth position, but we are catching up with the top four now. And hopefully we'll find ourselves in that position once again. Well, we managed to get ourselves another fourth place finish. And this time we have made it into the Europa League. 
together with Yahuda as well. Champions League goes to Maccabi, Netanya and uh, Hapoa Beersheba. But look at Maccabi Tel Aviv and Maccabi Haifa. They were in the uh, relegation part, although Tel Aviv did finish on 68 points, which would have got them second spot. However, they were playing against teams that they should have beat quite convincingly. So once again, we did okay the first part of the season. Then we faded away quite a bit. Look at Maccabi Tel Aviv. We beat them 6-1. 5-3 against Pecha Tifka as well. A couple of uh, big losses in there. 5-1 against Shiva, who we they did win the league though. So it's probably understandable. A couple of losses towards the end. Yeah, it's second half. It's, a game of, it's the season of two halves, that's for sure. However, we do get to the final of the stake. Oh, what a bu bullet of a header that is in the um, State Cup, but Maccabi Haifa are the team that we play and the team that we do beat 2-1 in the end, which is absolutely phenomenal. I mean, that's a poor goalkeeping straight to Nicolescu there. Maccabi Haifa try to fight back. It's a wonderful goal, but uh, it's a way too late. And we won all our games along the way. A 5-2 against Hapoel Ronana. Bree Lod 4-0. 3-0 against Ashdad. And 3-1. So 6-1 over the two legs. 4-0 in the semi-final against Shiva, who actually won the league. And that's another trophy. Our second state one. And I think that's our fifth domestic cup of the uh, rebuild. The Toto Cup, though, we do get to the semi-final. And we do lose to Maccabi Tel Aviv 1-0. And at home as well, disappointingly. It was the 10th minute one. And Thomas got himself sent off. I think that was very early on in September. However, Europe, though. So the Europa Conference League, we get past the league stage by winning just two games. <laughs> 8-0 against Flora, though. Wow. We do lose to VTSE and Shamrock Rovers and Nor Coping. But Rapid Vienna 1-1. I think that, that probably helped us get through, did it? Only just so in 21st position. It's poor showing, though, to be fair. Get past the knockout stage against Rosenberg 4-2. Morenze, we beat 4-2 as well in the round of 16. But it is Real Hispalis who we get battered. 6-1 over the two legs. 5-0. More importantly, in the away one. So, disappointing to lose, but probably not surprisingly. But we did get to the quarterfinals, though, of in Europe. That's pretty good. Quick look at our squad, though. But Nicolescu, 45 goals in 49. So with 10 assists, superb. Yuzupov as well, 23 goals. 22 from Salmi as well, the 18-year-old striker. Wow, we have got some good youngsters coming through the ranks, haven't we? So four players getting double figures, and uh, they're not just double figures. They are quite high. And a few more players getting some goals as well. Assist-wise, 22 for Shua. Wow. 19 for Romero. Our two wingers are just out of this world. Lieb as well, 14 assists as well for him, the 19-year-old. More important though, finances, uh, four and a half million pounds. This time we've got 20 million pounds in the bank. Once again, let's go shopping. And from Crotone in Italy, for 500,000 pounds, we're bringing Crespi to replace our Portuguese goalkeeper, Silva, who's getting on a little bit. Crespi is 25 years old, looks pretty decent and uh, plenty of room to grow as well. From Ashdad, we seem to be raiding them an awful lot for £300,000. Ohad Shiri comes in to be either right back or centre back. For £800 from Ashdad as well, we bring in Cohen to be our left back. He can play at centre back as well, but for £300,000, I think he's quite the bargain at 25 years old. And from Beersheva, for an exuberant amount of up to £2.2 million. We bring in 19-year-old Turgeman, young centre-back, plenty of potential in there, and balance and jump and reach looks really, really good together with heading as well. From Maccabi Tel Aviv, for £500,000, we bring in midfielder Shahar, who can play in the midfield or cam roll, but obviously he's got to be in midfield, be in the 4-4-2. And from Ramat Gan by Berenstock, for £250,000, Again, a young Israeli player. We have brought in young Israeli players. We want to try and uh, move the team towards a full Israeli team. And I think we were just about doing it. So there's quite a few people gone out the door as well, which we'll have a look in just a second. But look at them uh, physicals. So overall, £4 million spent, which is one hell of a hefty amount. Out the door, Kabari goes... 
for £72,000. Silver, the goalkeeper, goes to Espanyol for £1 million. Serrano goes for £5,000. Hoosier goes for two hundred and thirty, and Gretkin goes for ninety-eight thousand pounds. Friends haven't gone too bad. In fact, we did stutter at the very beginning. Maybe we brought too many players in. I just don't know. Just upset the apple cart. I don't know. But we did win our first game against Pathanaikos. We did lose to uh, Beersheba in the Super Cup final, two-one. Only just though. We tried getting one back from Nicolescu, but uh, it was not enough. A 4-4 draw and a friendly there, followed by a nil-nil. Then a couple of decent wins. And then we uh, started our Europa Conference League. Now, I thought it was the Europa League. I may have misread it. So we are, in fact, in the Europa Conference League yet again. Arda, we beat 4-0 on aggregate. Nefsci, we beat 5-0 on aggregate. Hermannstadt, Zrinski, Bezikas, Tarbil, Opoal and Rajika as well. But in the Toto Cup, we are through to the next round as well. I think that puts us into the final, maybe. I don't know. Um, I'm not sure where that puts us, to be fair. Maybe it doesn't put us into the final at all. I thought it might have done. We didn't play any group games, but we played that one and we won. But we're not in any further. So I'm a little bit confused once again. I just do not understand. So line second in the table, two from two. And the season preview sees us now in fourth position by the media at 12 to one to win the league. Wow, we've uh, literally gone from down here into fourth and at 12 to one as well. Let's hopefully it's duly justified as well. And we've got Shua still in the dream 11, which is fantastic. So let's go ahead and simulate our final season. Hopefully we'll come up trumps. Let's see if we can get any closer to that top position in the league. Not quite the fairy tale ending we were hoping for, but we do finish in fourth once again. We have secured that now for the third season in a row and we are losing less and less games. So there is an improvement there. We're not going to quite win the league just yet. We've finished an uh, incredible 31 points behind the eventual winners who literally stormed past everybody, only conceding 16 goals as well. But I'm really happy with the way we, how far we've come at least anyway. So have a look at the form the league went. So we started off pretty well, just a couple of defeats in October. Then one more in December. So only three defeats running up to the new year. And then again, it's a game of two half seasons. It's it's incredible. It really is. I don't know whether there's a registration issue or something. I don't know. But it just seems to be that we start off really well. And the second half, there's something that happens. When it gets to the final 10 games, if you're in the top half, it is harder, obviously. But we do get a couple of wins in there, draws, but yeah, it's more or less losses. A lot of work still needs to be done. However, we are improving all the time. We do, however, get to the final again in the State Cup and we do win it for a third time in this rebuild with a fantastic 3-0 victory over Ashdod, who we seem to struggle in the league a little bit. But cup competitions, we just seem to be above everybody else. And uh, that's... Three, six cup victories this rebuild. It's absolutely phenomenal. Two Toto Cups so far. We don't know what's happened in the, this season. Or I think we did get knocked out. I'm not quite sure. But three State Cups and one Super Cup. I mean, it's lovely play. And it's straight to our forwards who would just know how to put it in the back of the net. Along the way, we did have a couple of uh, tight victories, though, to be fair. Maccabi Haifa, 3-2 over the two legs. A 3-2 win away from home, actually, that one. And Tel Aviv as well, 3-2, with a nice easy victory in the final. The Toto Cup, it was just that one game. And we did win it, so I don't understand why we didn't get through to the next round. So it still baffles me. The Europa League, we reached the quarter-final stage again. And again, we lose to a Spanish side, Villarreal, this time 3-1 on aggregate after a 1-1 draw at home. But in the league phase, we do come out with two victories. Two draws, two losses. And in the uh, playoff knockout rounds, Lech, we win 4-0 over the two legs. And Galatasaray, 6-5 over the two legs. So we've done reasonably well. And we are 
Again, performing well in Europe. Quick look at our squad there. Nicolescu, 39 goals from 54. Yuzopov, 31 in 42. Almost catching up with him. Salmi with 12. Anybody else coming close? Not really, but there's a few more players getting some goals in. Assist-wise, only three players hitting double figures. Yusupov, Nikolescu and Cohen as, Cohen as well. We do seem to be missing Shua there. Oh, there he is. Six assists. Looking at the staff. Wow, that's massive. They've improved no end and it can only get better, like I say. Did we leave the club with any debt? Well, the £24 million in the bank, £6 million transfer kitty and any debts? None. Superb. I think it's been a very successful uh, rebuild. We've managed to get into the top four and the top half, so I'm really, really happy with that. What did the club actually, uh, the board say? They're delighted. The reserve in judgment of majority of stuff. Uh, ball culture using play using the youth system. Yep, delighted and pleased with not signing players over the age of 30. Wasn't really that hard though, to be fair, was it? Right, that's where we're going to leave it. Hope you did enjoy that. It was a, a different team. It was hard, I'm not going to lie. It was really difficult. But once we got running, it wasn't too bad at all. Once the money was there and we could actually spend on players... It was fine, but uh, yeah, apart from that, it was really difficult. And I think the contracts were really hard as well to sort out. There was just, everybody literally had one season left on their contract when we first started. So that was really difficult. But apart from that, it wasn't a bad rebuild. There are some really good players in there. But I think the way to go here is to have all Israeli players, I think, have the best in Israel and uh, sell them on as a premium, I think. Uh, that way you can get other players if need be. Like I say, if you enjoyed that, please smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And we'll see you on the next one.